The fact that the quietness and the emptiness in your home when you don't have your spouse or your children is deafening. You have to really get comfortable with being alone and it's very uncomfortable. Or, or, here, th this could be a better one. I made a mistake. I never hear these women say that they fucked up. What up guys? Welcome to the Just Harley Things YouTube channel and welcome to my reaction series. Today I'm going to be reacting to woman instantly regrets divorcing her husband. Women hitting the wall. And, um... I don't, I wasn't prepared for that. I wasn't prepared for feeling that way, even when you're not together. Before we continue from this video, here is a message from our sponsors. It's crazy how much of my personal information is out there, and I wonder if there is a way to track or stop this. Data brokers sell your information to scammers, spammers, and anyone else who may want to target you. Your full name, email, home address, health records, your relatives, it is all out there. That is why I have been using Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura shows me which data brokers are selling my information and automatically submit opt-out requests for me. Cleaning up my information not only helps reduce the amount of spam I get, but it also protects me from hackers who could use this information to help them access my social media accounts, fake accounts, or other sensitive information. Aura also does so much more to protect me and my family from online threats that I can't see. It's super easy to set up, so I don't have to download several different apps to get things like antivirus, VPN, or password management, parental controls, identity theft insurance, and more. I get everything at one affordable price. Using Aura is unbelievable how many data brokers I found were selling my personal information online. You may already have one or two of these tools, but not having Aura is like locking the front door and leaving the back door wide open. Aura is always on doing the hard work of keeping me safe so I can focus on other tasks with peace of mind. I value my privacy and I value yours. You can go to Aura dot com slash pearl to start your two week free trial. Also find the link in the description. Welcome back family. Today we will review some more crying divorced women who just cannot seem to understand that the grass isn't always greener on the other side. What's the one thing you wish everyone around you knew about getting divorced? Everyone always prepares you that whenever you're going through a divorce, losing who filed who filed lady husband or wife you go through a grieving process grieving for the loss of your marriage um the loss of your hopes and dreams together um but one thing that they really don't prepare you for is the loss of a friend the loss of your best friend i mean what did you think was gonna happen <laughs> It's like women ruin their whole families and they're confused when they lose <laughs> their husband <laughs> the person that you always wanted to tell you know, tell your day and to tell, you know, your small wins and your small victories. And, um, I don't, I wasn't prepared for that. I wasn't prepared for feeling that way, even when you're not together and haven't been together. Um, just having that desire to have them as a friend again. Just another day and another modern woman making an impulse decision to divorce her husband without really thinking about the consequences. And I've seen this. I have had, I have interviewed over a thousand people on my show and I have had so many chicks who divorced their husbands for damn near no reason. I outgrew him. I have heard that so many times. Oh, let me just ruin my family, put my kids at every statistical disadvantage because I outgrew him. And really what's happening is social media has ruined relationships. Women see men on social media they think the grass is greener on the other side and it's not and a lot of times it's lonely with a bunch of cats and that's why kevin samuels would say to my dog i alone i bet that she was convinced that leaving her husband was a good idea by listening to some divorced guru woman on the internet talking about how divorce is wonderful most women go to the internet not for learning but to find someone that will validate the idea that they already had in their mind because deep down that can that they are not doing the the right thing check it out is there anyone out there in tiktok land that can tell me what you're supposed to do with your life when you've been in a relationship for 20 plus years with the same person you have children you have you know built a life to stay stay that's what they're gonna say stay and then all of a sudden that life is no longer what why tell me why why is it no longer who filed what supposed to do with your life like I, I work, I'm a, I'm a registered nurse, I, I have a, so I have a career, I guess. Um, 
I have nurses. We've been telling you guys about the nurses. Hobbies. I have like, I don't know, a house. I have all the things that I guess you need to live the life, but I, I don't know how. I don't like, do you, do you date other people? Like, do you, do you sort of like, I just don't know. I want to focus on myself. I want to be happy. But see, she, she's talking about what she wants, and that's what women do. Women just never think about what their kids want, what their husband wants. It's always me, 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 what I want. I want to, I just, I, I see, want... See, I want, I want, I want to... Heal from this. <sighs> that's another thing. I'm so tired of hearing about healing. I'm so tired of hearing about healing. What do you guys need to heal from? You know, healing used to be like an injury, maybe war that used to be trauma. Now it's... It's, all right, all right. Whole process that I've been in. But I also want to live life. Like, I also want to have fun. I don't want it to be all about being miserable and feeling sad and, and just going through the motions of life because my relationship, my marriage broke down. Like, I, I just don't want to do that anymore. I want to be happy. I want to move on. And I want to just... If you weren't happy in your marriage, you're not going to be happy outside of it. You're either a happy person or you're not. Find joy in life again. I know that most of you just wanted to jump on your screens when you heard the infamous phrase, I just want to be happy. Trust me, me too. It's the same story over and over and over, again and again and again. It's all about me, 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 without even knowing what they really want. But then they get shocked when the ex-husband move on with his life like in our next clip. My husband fell in love with my best friend. Now ex-husband, ex-best friend, but they fell in love. It's now been four years and I wanted to share a very important lesson that I learned. The people that are meant to be in your life will be in your life. Nothing will stop them from simply being in your life. If it's so easy for- Women, we have no friends. <laughs> The more I see this stuff, I'm like, we have zero friends. <laughs> yeah. Went to leave, then they were never truly meant to be with you long term anyways. Also, I see people begging people to stay in their life. You really want someone in your life that you have to beg for? No, thank you. And if you're really fighting for someone to stay, don't you value and respect yourself enough to just let them go? I know that divorce is really hard and I know that sitting in the loneliness is really hard, but it's way better than begging and pleading for someone to see your worth and your value. You are worth so much more than that and I hope you see that. So from one heartbreak to another, I see you and I love you. It's amazing how these women will always try to play it cool as if they are not jealous, hurt and bitter when they see their husbands moving on. But you can see the anger and disappointment through her. Just in case you want more affirmation on how her life is miserable, I went through her page and here is one of her latest video where she admit on how miserable her life really is. So there are some crucial things that people don't talk about after you go through it. Sometimes these women talk. I'm like, what are you trying to make a Hallmark movie? You see like the music in the background playing and everything. The fact that the quietness and the emptiness in your home when you don't have your spouse or your children is deafening. You have to really get comfortable with being alone and it's very uncomfortable. You could or or here, th this could be a better one. I made a mistake. I would never hear these women say that they fucked up. It's always, I fucked up because I was young. I was not, like, men in general, some of you guys act like women. I won't even lie to you. You'll be like, oh, I messed up because of the, it's just, no. But in general, in general, women, it's like, it's never, I just, I messed up. I was wrong. I'm sorry. It's like this rationalization. Like, you don't think if it's been four years and your house is empty, something's maybe not going right. I don't know. Realize that you are now the center stage of all conversation in your friend group because you're now living this wild and fun life because you're no longer attached to anybody. And I don't know about you, but I spent a lot of my time crying and eating pizza and drinking wine in the bathtub. Be oh, but live your best life, girl. Single is glamorized in today's society and people are saying, yes, good for being single and you should really- Tattoos, nose ring. Just enjoy it, it's so freeing. When really you lost your purpose because you've been supporting this person for X amount of years and supporting their aspirations and, and their goals and their dreams and their desires and you lost yourself along the way. So now you, yeah, it's beautiful. You get to find yourself and, but it's hard to sit in that and be like, oh, who the f am I? So maybe be a little bit more gentle on the single people in your life. 
All these strong, independent, happy, single, living my best life, women you see on the internet have the same sad story behind closed doors. They are all crying, miserable, lonely, depressed, bitter, and angry women. That's not fair. That's that not, not fair! That's not fair! My thing is, if you didn't want to be with him, that's fine. I mean, I'm, I don't advocate for it, but okay, that, that was your choice. Deal with your choice. But my question is, why do you care if you moved? he moved on? You, you didn't want him. So if you didn't want him, why are you mad when he wants someone else? It doesn't make any to sense. To lead more women astray so that they can all be miserable. Because we know that misery loves company. And it's sad that so many young women keep falling for their lies. I have a bonus clip for you that shows the consequences of- Oh, I love him. J James Sexton, he's great. Government incentivizing women to divorce their husbands. I do divorces for people that, you know, a woman walks out with two, three hundred million dollars. He was an analyst at Goldman Sachs who built a hedge fund and then sold it and then used his trading algorithm to build it up to $500 million. She was hot. <laughs> That'll do it. And slept with him for a while and then stopped and started sleeping with other people and playing tennis and having Botox. And she's going to get half. Like, that's incredible. Like, do you know what he had? <laughs> do to get that and, what and it's so funny women will take all the credit like if you ask that woman she built a man that's another thing i'm tired of ladies 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 cooking cleaning and being supportive is not the same thing as as building a man i mean did you mentor him no <laughs> did you invest in his business first no did you pay for his education no okay so shut up i mean you cook i mean so can some chick for 12 dollars an hour like, it's not, you know, it's not that hard. <laughs> Anyways. He had to, I'll f that guy for $200 million. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, that's insane. That's incredible. Fellas, as long as these family laws are still in place, you're going to... And that's the thing. They want men to be traditional, but they always want the men to do it first. They, they don't want society to do it first. And, and the unfortunate thing is men can't be traditional in this society. It doesn't work. They, they literally cannot do it. Because as long as you have a law, as long as you have a divorce laws and an incentive structure that pays women to leave, I mean, how can men be traditional and count on them staying? So um, let me know what you guys think in the comments comments leave a comment below like the video on your way out make sure you subscribe to the channel ring that notification bell and i'll talk to you next time